All right, I want to welcome everyone here today. My name's Craig Floyd, and I'm the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. And it's uh, my privilege to host today's uh, event as we honor some fallen American heroes. I, of course, want to recognize the family, the friends, the colleagues of Sergeant Richard Finley of the Prince George's County Police Department. Sergeant Finley, as we all know, was tragically struck and killed trying to stop a stolen vehicle on June 27, 2008. Today we honor him and hundreds of other officers who will be new additions to these memorial walls, forever remembered and honored here at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. Each spring, a solemn ritual occurs here at the memorial as we add hundreds of new names it is one of the few memorials here in our nation's capital where new additions are the norm rather than the exception. Today we begin that process once again. This year we are adding 387 names to the memorial. The work will take approximately two weeks to complete. Of the 387 new additions, 133 officers died in 2008 the lowest total since 1960. A glimmer of good news amidst the tragic stories of law enforcement sacrifice we have all heard about here in the D.C. area, as well as more recently in Oakland and Pittsburgh and other communities across this country. We are also engraving the names of 254 officers who died in yesteryear. They had slipped through the cracks of history until our researchers uncovered their stories of supreme sacrifice. And now they will be forgotten no more. In three weeks on May 13th at 8 p.m., here at the memorial, all 387 newly engraved names will be officially dedicated during our 21st annual candlelight vigil as we commemorate National Police Week, the week that includes May 10th through the 16th. And I hope all of you will be able to return here for that wonderful tribute to all of America's fallen police heroes. Two more people I want to acknowledge. Kirk Bachman and Jim Lee from Engrave Wright in Denver, Colorado. These two remarkably dedicated professionals have engraved every single name on these memorial walls. As you'll witness in a few minutes, they do their work with great care, precision, and respect. At this time, I would like to read the names of the seven officers who we will see engraved here in just a few moments. Special Agent Dirk Miller of the Army Criminal Investigative Command, end of watch December 12, 1985. Deputy Juan Escalante of the Los Angeles County, California Sheriff's Office, end of watch August 2, 2008. Patrolman Irving Baker from the Warren, Ohio Police Department. End of watch, January 6, 1933. Private John Fox of the Texas Rangers. End of watch, November 16, 1859. Deputy W.H. Kelly from the Trinity County, Texas Sheriff's Office. End of watch, April 24, 1911. Officer Kenneth Greg Searles from the Pell City, Alabama Police Department. End of watch, July 4th, 2008. And Sergeant Richard Scott Findlay, Prince George's County, Maryland Police Department. End of watch, June 27th, 2008. Like the other 380 heroes whose names are being graved on the memorial in the coming days, these seven men place the welfare and safety of others above their own. By inscribing their names on this national memorial, we ensure they will never be alone. They will never be forgotten. At this time, it is my honor to introduce the Chief of Police of the Prince George's County Police Department, the Honorable Roberto Hilton, for his remarks and reflections. The Prince George's County Police Department and the community lost a great man the day that Sergeant Finley was killed. His dedication to his work was evident and set a great example for other officers to follow. 
He is and will always be missed by anyone, by everyone that knew him or had the pleasure to work alongside Sergeant Finley. May God bless the Finleys and may God bless Sergeant Scott Finley. I'd like to invite uh, Sergeant Finley's wife, Kelly, and his daughters, Lauren and Nicole, to please come forward and give us the honor of the first etching of your husband and your father's name from the memorial. on behalf of the Prince George's County Police Department, I'd like uh, Chief Hilton to please come forward and do an action.
like to now ask uh, Kerry Watson and Dean Jones from the Prince George's County Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 89 to do one in honor of their fallen member. concludes the formal part of today's ceremony and on behalf of the family I certainly want to thank all of you for honoring Sergeant Finley and the family with your presence here today very special time to honor a fallen American hero our engravers will continue this process over the next two weeks and I hope all of you can return once again on May 13th for our candlelight vigil we will formally dedicate uh, Sergeant Finley's name as well as all the other new additions to these memorial walls. That's 8 p.m. on May 13th. May these officers rest in peace and may they never be forgotten. Thank you all. Please, sir. Uh, Detail. Dismissed.